Engagements are kind of a big thing when it comes to online courses and LMS learning management systems. Let me show you what that is, and then I'm going to show you how to set it up. Don't overlook it. It's a very powerful feature, especially if you're doing this for a younger target group. Here I have the page and I'm coming as a student and I've already signed up. So I go to my student area over here and then I log in over here. Let's do that. And I hope I can remember the password. Don't worry, I can reset it if I don't remember it. And I'm going to log in. Right. So who did we create this? I think it's under me. If I want to go see, here's my dashboard. This is where I will log in and you can see here it is the course that I have enrolled in Stand Up For Yourself and then all the other information over here. Good. So let's go into the course because this is where the achievement is going to appear. And currently you can see here on the right in the sidebar, here is the course outline. I'm 83 and a third percent done. Very good job. I've done this section with two lessons. I've done the second session with three lessons, and now I'm here at this last section with my last lesson. So what I will do is I'll click on this, Obisan, and I will go into this one. And there's no content in here. It's just a dummy one. What is going to happen, do you think, when I click on Mark Complete? Let's do that. And look at this that appears here in the top right-hand corner. You've been awarded an achievement. Be the dragon. You've completed this course. Congratulations. And there it's gone. What's important now, if I go to my dashboard, student area, you will see that my achievements appear over here. So I've got two others already, plus this achievement. This is what an achievement is, also known as a badge. It is some kind of a virtual reward just to inspire people, right? And they can collect badges. And maybe if they've collected a number of badges, they can get a free course, something like that. Let's dive into Lifter LMS, see how you can set this up in Lifter LMS free. We continue on our journey with Lifter LMS. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure that you check out the videos in our YouTube playlist on Lifter LMS from the beginning 25 steps with the videos that follow on that. We build on that. These videos are a little bit longer and slower than normal because in my opinion, Lifter LMS is a dragon. So most LMSs are. So we take it a little bit slower so that you can become a master at this. Here is the thing. Go and check the video on notifications. Go to the sidebar Lifter LMS and click here on settings. We go to notifications first. Now up here you'll see notifications. What a notification does is very similar to that dragon we had just seen. It will send you a message like good job or you, you've completed the lesson. And when it comes to your course, there are a number of basic notifications. For example, you have lesson complete. Every time you complete a lesson, there's a notification. Every time you complete a section, there is a notification. And every time you complete a course, there's a notification. A little too much, methinks, right? After every lesson, you want to say to somebody, hey, good job. No, no, that gets a little too much. Then that's where engagements come in. Rather have this notification pop up each and every time, you turn it off and you only set up your achievements. That's important because if you don't switch these off and you set up your achievements, you're going to have two things appear there at the same time. This is your choice. How you want to present it, up to you. I like to switch these off and then I set up achievements. So what I do is I go to lesson complete and I click here on basic. And then at the bottom, I go here to where it says subscribers and I deselect it. This will now ensure that every time a lesson is completed, that notification won't appear. The same with a section. Um, section, section complete over here, basic. And we do the same. You will see it is checked by default. I'm going to uncheck it. I think I can save everything at the end, but I'm saving. Then all notifications and the last one was the lesson. So course complete is the last one. Also going to click there on basic and then deselect student, save changes. Now, whenever your students or the people attending your courses finishes a lesson, a section or the course, nothing will happen. 
That's a little bit of an anti-climax, so you need to give them a little something to encourage them, and that is the power of the achievement. So the first thing is we create an achievement. Go over to the sidebar on the left, and we go to engagements. And there are three kinds of engagements, or you can say categories. The first one is achievements, certificates, emails. They serve the same master but they play by different rules. So we're going to look in this video at achievements. Click on achievements, and we're going to create an achievement for your first lesson. Let's say first lesson. So here's the one that I created earlier, Be the Dragon. Ignore that one. We're going to say add achievement. Add achievement, and now I'm just trying to think which courses do I have here. Let me just open one on the front. And we have a number of courses here. Let's go to online courses. And let's enroll them in this one. Find, no, saying goodbye to a tough year. Let's use this one with the eggs. And I want to give them this achievement when they finish this lesson. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, so that's where the achievement will appear. Thanking them for this first lesson, encouraging them to continue. Let's go back here. I'm going to call this one first egg because it's the one with the eggs. I'll just call it first egg, achievement, title, and this is what you say, congratulations, like I said, be the dragon, the egg has hatched. Ooh, we're getting very philosophical. And over here, congratulations, you've done it. First lesson complete, let the good times roll. And then you can also use a background image here that you can upload yourself, make sure that it is a one-to-one -one ratio. I've already have a few images, so I'll click here, and I'm going to select this one. This is my own image, so I'm bringing in my own image, and you will see over here it's 640 pixels by 640 pixels. Keep them more or less the same size, otherwise in your student dashboard things are going to look a little bit flaky. So I usually go for something like 320 by 320 or 640 by 640. Don't ask me why I came up with those numbers. This is the achievement, that's how that batch will appear. In the top right hand corner we click on publish now we have to assign this to a certain engagement so we now go to engagements over here and you will see i have one engagement the one i had set up earlier we create a new engagement add engagement and an engagement is a trigger a trigger is when should it happen when should it appear and under triggering event we look for the event which is this lesson, it's okay, it's all right. So it's complete lesson. Let's go back. Student completes a course, no, completes a lesson, yes. Click on that one. And then down here, it's going to tell you select the lesson. But boy, we've got a number of lessons over here. And if you've got many courses, this is gonna get wild. So just go there, look for the name, it's okay, it's all right. I'm going to type in it's okay. There we go. It's okay, it's all right. And I click it and I select. Next under this is engagement type. Remember I told you there are three. Achievement, certificate, or email. We're going to say achievement. And then select an engagement. Now we have the two. And this one is first egg. So let's just quickly go through this so you understand what's going to happen. When a student finishes this lesson, this is the trigger, it's going to display this one, first egg, as an achievement, as a batch. And you can even delay it. You can award this achievement to them days later. We're not going to do that. We're going to do it immediately like you saw in the demo I did at the beginning. So you leave this empty here. Click Publish. Alrighty. So now we've published it. Let's just see how it looks. Click here on Engagements in the sidebar. And why there's no title. Let me give it a title. We're going to call it again Be the Egg. <laughs> what is that? Breakable? Unbreakable. Right, so be the egg. There's our engagement, and it's an achievement. Right. Okay, so this is something that at the beginning, the first time you do it, it's a little bit nerve-wracking. You think, is it going to work? Is it going to work? And the more you do it, the more confident you get with it, and eventually it works. And, you know, as simple and basic as it looks, people do enjoy it. Like, hey, I got this. You know, just a little something, something. Good. So now what we need to do is we need to go and get our enrollment over here. And we're going to sign up for this course, which is saying goodbye to 2020, something like that. So what I'll do, 
I'm signed in. I'll go to online courses. And I will find this one, which is saying goodbye to a tough year, saying hello to a disastrous year. And now I have to enroll. I haven't enrolled for this one, so I still need to enroll. I'm going to click on enroll today. It is free. And it's going to enroll me and it's going to give me this notification, right? We're getting at this notification course enrollment success. And now I can click here on get started. Just note, I'm already registered. I've gone through the whole process. I've given them all my details. So it's not asking for my details a second time. It just enrolls me into this course for a second time. To show you that I'm not lying, let's go to online courses, click on student area. And then you will see I've got two under my courses now. And I can go and enroll in all of those that are free, even the paid ones that will set up in the future and pay for them. And all of those courses will appear in my student dashboard. To access this one, saying goodbye to a tough year, I click on it and you can see there's no pink line, which means I haven't started any of the lessons, whereas this one is totally completed. Let's click again on saying goodbye to a tough year. And then let's start. So I'm going to click here on get started. And then we get to our first lesson. And of course, the content looks similar because we cloned these guys previously. Now comes the test. When I click here at the bottom, I should get my achievement. Mark complete. And in the top right hand corner, first egg. Ta -da! Important to note, we get the achievement and we do not get any notification like lesson completed. That is how you take control of your achievements. You can set them up for specific lessons. You can set them up for specific sections. There's a lot. Let's have a quick look, all the various achievements that you can set. I go into the back end. We select engagements because engagements is going to decide when the achievement will appear. And then we click on be the egg. And then over here, the triggers, we can have it when a new account is created, when they purchase an access plan, Enroll in a course only for enrollment, purchase a course, passes a quiz, completes a quiz. There we have student completes a section, completes a course track, something that we will also look and then enrolls in the membership or purchases a membership. So these are all the triggering events that you can have for this achievement. I keep being surprised by Lifter LMS on a daily basis and I need to tell you this is a very good example that if you don't use this software all the time, it feels a little bit overwhelming. But the more I work on it and the more I prepare for the tutorials because I have to go into the nitty gritty to make sure I don't make mistakes and then I still make mistakes, the more I get better at it and it's starting to feel so fluid. A really great experience working with Lifter LMS. We are rolling out individual tutorials on all the features of Lifter LMS free that will be followed by the pro and premium add-ons from Lifter LMS. So make sure you subscribe here to our YouTube channel and thank you for the support. This is JP. Keep safe.